hello guys welcome to dtwg the prep okay so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you on how to interpret word problems and i have an acronym which you can use to help you um you know solve in, and interpret any word problems you see okay and i've um, developed it okay so um the acronym is bucket so we're going to write it here bucket we're going to spell a bucket you know everybody you know what a bucket is okay so we're going to use this acronym bucket and i'm um, sorry if this is your first time on this channel please subscribe please help us grow okay it's a fairly new channel please subscribe to help this channel grow as we are here to support you in your GED test and um, our mission is to complete this GED syllabus on maths for you before the end of the year by God's grace okay so please support us by subscribing and sharing and giving this video a thumbs up all right I would really really appreciate this okay so now how do we interpret word problems with this acronym now we have bucket okay the first um, letter B it means here you box the question okay in every word problem there's a question it asks you okay so you box that question after reading you box it so the next one is you underline the info that you need all right underline the information okay I just shorten it to info okay info you need info needed the next is you circle the operation vocabulary okay you you the operation vocabulary what i mean by this is now um you see some um, in word problem they'll say combine it will say twice as much it will say you know that's an operation there so you circle all those the operation vocabulary okay then k what do you do you knock out information not needed now what problems <laughs> okay the, the examiners you know the curriculum uh, the, the, the 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 GED testings and uh, or any exam body that um, bring word problems uh, out they always put unneeded information to confuse you okay that's you know it's just a test is a test so you just knock out every information that is not needed that won't help you get the uh, the question that you box so you say knock out unneeded what info okay these are the steps so just have this bucket in mind when trying to solve any word problem then e form the equation that would help you solve this all right every word problem has an equation equation even if it's as little as uh, a plus b form the equation that would help you uh, form equation to solve okay uh, for solution all right to help you get the solution all right then the final thing t talk to yourself in exam you can talk to yourself talk to yourself if your answer makes sense okay so talk to yourself talk to yourself if the answer okay you have to reason it because what problem is quite you know a lot of logical thinking goes into it so talk to yourself if the answer makes sense you have to check again check back don't just solve so talk to yourself finally if the answer makes sense if it does make sense then take your option and move forward all right so this are okay the things that you need to interpret word problems all right and we are going to do some examples here i'm going to do i think i don't want this video to be quite long but i have like six questions um i think like two or three okay but um going to the next uh so now we have this question here don't forget the bucket okay so this first question says what peter wants to repaint his 700 square foot apartment okay you can see what problem involves a lot of text for you to read but just take out the information that you need all right so peter wants to repaint his 700 square foot apartment he calculates that he has 3500 square feet of sp of wall space to paint now there's a, a parenthesis here it says he will not paint the floor or the ceiling so it's only the wall space is going to paint just relax if he if each gallon of paint will cover 350 square square feet of wall space how many gallons will peter need now bucket 
B. Box your question. This is your question. How many words? How many gallons will you need? You can just quickly write it. Question is what? How many gallons needed? Okay? That's our question. That's what we're looking for. How many gallons he will need? Now, the next thing is what? On the line, uh, what? Needed info. So, what needed info are we going to use to get the number of gallon, gallons he's going to need to paint the wall space? We are going to need this. It says, if each gallon paint will cover 3 watts, 350 watts square feet. So, on the line this, we're going to need this. So, one gallon. So, you write here, one gallon. We need what? 350. We we'll do, we'll do what? A one gallon of the paint will do what? 350 of what? Square feet of the wall space. Okay? Of... of wall space all right what next information do we need now it says he calculates that he has 300 square feet of wall space towards paint all right so we are looking at wall space because that's what the question is how many gallons will peter need to paint the wall space since the parenthesis here says he will not paint the floor or the ceiling just the wall wall space so this is what is going to paint 300 what 3000 sorry 3500 square feet of wall of wall space that's what is going to paint all right now it says another number appearing here say peter wants to repaint his 700 square foot apartment this information is not needed so what do we do we knock it out this information is not needed because it's saying 700 square feet apartment it doesn't it's just the whole apartment all right but here we've been given that he will not paint the floor or ceiling just the wall space so he calculates that 3500 square feet of wall space he has to what paint so this is the information we need this number here and this number here so now we can now calculate so since we have one gallon to what will give us we we'll would we'll paint how many square feet of wall space 350 square, square feet of wall space so how many gallons will be needed to now paint this total square feet of wall space it's just simply what 305 uh, 3500 divided by what 350 that would give us what the number of gallons he is going to use you understand this one gallon now you can you can see here where you need to use your tea think about your answer okay so one gallon would give what 300 square feet of wall space now he needs to paint how many square feet of wall space 350 how many gallons will he use we already know that one gallon is would do 350 so to know the amount of gallon would do that would do 300 3500 we just simply divide by what 350 so here 350 will go in 3500 how many times 10 times so he needs what 10 gallons okay to paint this particular what 350 square feet of wall space so our answer is what 10 gallons you can see it makes sense don't you get it? It makes perfect what sense. So not the mistake people would make is to use 700 square feet, uh, would divide 700 by what, 350. Okay, and this will give you two, and the answer is here. Okay, the option is here. All right, but this is wrong. The right option here is what, 10, because the question focuses on what, wall space, which is the needed what, information. Okay, since it says in this parenthesis, not... He will not paint the floor or the ceiling. All right. Now, the next question here. The next question here says, for a family get together, Darin wants to be sure that each child gets two party favors. Okay. The party favors cost $3 each and there are 11 children coming. How many party favors will Darren need? That's the question now. How many party favors will Darren would need? So we box our question. 
So we're looking for the number, the quantity of party favors he's going to need. For how many people? Now you ask again, how many people? It says what there are what 11 children what coming. Okay, we are underlining now the needed what uh, the needed what um, the needed information. Okay, so there are what 11 children coming. Now it says the party favor costs three three dollars each. We don't need to know the total. We're not the question didn't is not asking us for the cost. It's asking us for how many party favors, the number of units of party favors he needs. Okay, so it means you see this this number here now. It, it, we have to know what knock it out. We don't need it. Okay, this is a, a this will confuse you if you start adding it up to your equation. We don't need this number. We are looking for we're looking for um, information that would help us get what our question which we've boxed. Okay, so it says that Daring wants to be sure that each child gets what two party favors. Okay, so we need this info. All right, so and there are how many children coming? 11 children coming. So, how many party favors would Darren need? Simply, it's just two times 11, and that is what 22 party favors. That's what Darren would, would what, uh, need. Okay, so this is the answer 22 party favors. Okay, so our right option here is option D. You can see this. All right, so you apply the bucket rule, box your question. Underline your needed information and for C, which is what circle equation, you know, um, I mean, circle your uh, the vocabulary in the equation. Now, that uh, is for add more advanced word problems, which I'm going to do very soon, which involves a lot of equation. OK, this is just simple word problems, which involves your division, multiplication. We are still under number sense. All right. So but when we get to equations, you see a lot of um, uh, another advanced word problems where we'll solve, uh, you know, uh, twice as much. Uh, um, if you com if you combine this, multiply this, you know, do much. And I'm, I'm also going to do several examples again. All right. So you can see that you have to now and you knock out K is to knock out what the knock out the an information that is not needed. E is to form your equation, which is this and this and solve them. And T is to what ask yourself again. Is your answer making sense? And yes, it is making sense because our question says what? To know if your answer is making sense, to go back to your question, which says how many party favors will Darren need? And not if the question didn't ask us how much. Okay, how much? Uh, how much? Uh, how much is it going to need to get the party favor? It says how many? All right, which is simply two times 11 since 11 children um, is coming to the party and he wants them to get two party favors each so it's simply what well, two times 11 which is what well, 22 party favors and this are answer okay this is much i can take um, questions from this i don't want this video to be quite long okay i might do a part two with more um word problems all right so thank you for staying tuned and don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon Give your life to Christ for he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. And I do I think I, I didn't say in the beginning there's a WhatsApp group and Facebook group that you can join for free online Zoom math classes every Wednesday by 9 a.m. US Central Time. All right, thank you from DTW Tutorials. You are destined to win in Christ. Thank you and see you in our next video.